I'm Donald Quest. I'm a professor of neurological surgery here at Columbia. Ms. Hartley? Yes. I specifically deal with uh, spine surgery, cervical and lumbar surgery. Spine was a field that I, I was attracted to. Uh, it's, it's, you can really help people who have disabling pain and difficulties and uh, I enjoy that type of surgery. As we go across, these are all slices coming down. We have a wonderful group of uh, neurosurgeons. They're all uh, terrific people. They're great surgeons. They're very smart. It's very challenging to come to work every day and, and be with these people. I don't want to hurt you, so hold your leg up. Hold it strong. I'm right now an assistant dean of students, so I have 30 students in each medical school class uh, who, uh, are, who I'm responsible for. I'm their advisor. I'm their mentor. I'm their advocate. And uh, that's apart from teaching them neurosurgery. Did you feel like a pop or anything like that when no, it happened? No. I like to listen to my patients uh, when I take the history and not interrupt them and have them tell me their story in their own words. I think Columbia uh, teaches students to uh, take a very thorough history and that's something that's ingrained in me so I spend a lot of time with that. We can consider a surgical option but that's a couple months down the line and we'll talk about it in great detail before we get to it. I also like to point out to my patients that what we're doing here is a team effort. It's not me telling you what you have to do. I like to lay out the alternatives, the benefits, and the risks so they understand very well and we can come to a decision about the best method of management together. I think neurosurgery is one of the most challenging fields in medicine. I think the future is uh, is wide open. I think many things are going to happen in, uh, uh, in the next 50 years. They're going to improve people's lives. The neurosurgeons are going to be able to provide for patients. And I think there's been a, a real improvement uh, in the 30 years that I've been practicing myself.